Okay, so you should have a llama on cardboard. What I have done is I have cut five notches at the top. One, two, three, four, five, and five at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is not my llama. This is one of the classmates who wasn't here the other day because I already <laughs> finished my llama, so I'm using hers as, as an example. So um, what she needs to do when she comes back is to trace over all of this with a sharpie so that it's nice and dark. Okay, and so she's got the five notches here and on the bottom, and what you're going to need is two pieces of tape and a long piece of yarn. I tell the kids that they need about a wingspan, so that's like from fingertip to fingertip when their arms are completely spread out. Okay, so it's pretty big. What you're going to do is you're going to flip over your llama, and you are going to tape your string to the back. So I'm going to tape a little bit right here, make sure it's really secure, and then I'm going to put the string through the top notch like that. Okay? Then you can flip it over and what you're going to do is you're just going to wind it down to the next notch and behind it and up through the top into the second notch. Then you go down to the second notch, go back up behind to the third, down to the third, up to the fourth, down to the fourth, up to the fifth, down to the fifth, and then behind. Then you're going to need your other piece of tape. Go ahead and tape it down. And then you're going to need to cut the tail off, the extra yarn. So that's called warping. So now we have warped. Now we're going to weft, put the weft through. So I have another piece of yarn in a completely different color. You could use the same color, it does not matter. And what you're going to do is you're going to start and you're going to go under the first one, over the second one, under the third one, over the fourth one, under the fifth one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and zoom this in so you can see a little better. Then I'm just simply going to pull it all the way through. When I get over here, I'm actually going to tie the yarn to that first piece. I'm going to tie it like that, okay? And I'm going to scooch it up. So now I have this little tail here that I'm going to cut off at the end. Now you have this part, you're going to do a U-turn. Now some people have been getting confused and going under again, but you need to go the opposite way. So if it ended under, now it's going to begin over. So over, under, over, under, over. And then you're going to pull it all the way through. You don't want to do it really tight like this. You want it to be, you don't want the, it to end up doing this. So just enough, and then you push it all the way up. Then you do the same thing you just did, but you do a U-turn, and don't, some people have been doing this, where they end up forgetting about this last string. So then you go under, over, under, over, under. And you just keep going. And again, pull it tight, not, not too tight. And you push it all the way up. And you continue that pattern of over, under, over, under, or under, over, under, over, until you are finished with your yarn. Now you may want to switch colors of yarn if you have more yarn. And what you're going to do in that case is you're just going to tie your yarn together. So you make an X, then you take one tail and you wind it around like that, and then you just tie a knot between the two. And you have to pull kind of all four pieces. This is a square knot. Pull all four pieces until it's nice and snug, and then you can keep going with your new color. All right. Under, over, under, over. And my new color is not going to show up until I've used all my other color. That's fine. And then I'm going to pull it all the way through. And I'm just going to keep going. And that is how you make your llama's blanket. So I will see you on Friday. Hopefully you'll have a chance to have gotten this started. Um, and if you are having any trouble, I can help you when I see you on Friday. So good luck.